Hey guys, welcome back to In It For The Limit Fishing. And today we're going to be prepping for a fish fry. It's Halloween weekend and we're gonna do a neighborhood fish fry. And so I've set out some fillets out of the freezer and I've got some from uh, Back Creek here. This is out of Teleco Lake. And we spent some time in there at the beginning of the year. And most of my time this year, I spent a lot of time in Ish Creek. Of course, I don't keep, every time we go, we don't keep uh, the fillets and I give a lot to uh, family members and then I have uh, this is my Nachi Creek bag here. I've only took one trip there, but it was a really good trip Then we've got our uh, I bought some disposable pans just to make cleanup easier that we can do some of our dredging in and Then to put the fish in when we're done got our flour hush puppies oil uh, We might do some with mustard. I have a video of how we do that already uh, I also have some we might try some uh Frank's Red Hot Sauce. If you've not tried that, it's a really good if you like spicy. Uh, it's really good to use. We might try some of that too. But I also have buttermilk, which is what I'm going to do most of them with. I have some Slap Your Mama seasoning. Um, I have a regular seasoning mix that I usually do with nat uh, nature seasoning and a few other things. If you watch from the uh, other video that I did with the girls. But we might swap out... Um, some of the spices with the slap your mama on this one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run these some uh, hot water in these bags and some people um talk about not using hot water but the way that we bag these since it's in basically a um, a bag of water the temperature of those fillets aren't going to rise until all that ice is melted it's going to reach an equilibrium anyways so we're just going to use some hot water to speed that process up a little bit and they should be fine and then we're going to uh, dry them off really good and I'm gonna put them back and I got one of these pans actually to store into the refrigerator overnight uh, so they'll be ready in the morning so we can just throw them in uh, dredge them and then uh, throw them in flour and cornmeal and then throw them in the fryer if you uh, like what you see if you enjoy the video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button hit that notification bell we're gonna get to it thanks for watching let's do it Alright guys, we're going to mix our batter up to, together that we're going to uh, coat these fish with. Now, we're gonna make, we might use some big frank, franks and I like to use mustard to dredge it with. Uh, we also have some buttermilk which we're going to do most of them with it. Now I've dried, I've rinsed these fillets off, put them in the fridge overnight to stay cold, put some uh, ice packs on them, keep them nice and chilled. But I've dried them off really good. Uh, if you go straight from washing it off, uh, a lot of people will just throw it straight into the batter because it's got enough moisture on it to hold the flour on or cornmeal. Uh, however, I've dried mine off really good, so we're going to dredge it either in Big Frank's mustard and buttermilk. We might do a mixture of some. Now, my batter and my flour that I mix, I'm just using a cornmeal mix. <clears throat> and what I like to do, we're going to use quite a bit because we're doing about 140 fillets. <clears throat> I like to do, you know, we might just throw this whole bag in here. I like to mix some flour in it. It sticks a little better. And uh, this is just self rising flour. I used to do like a one to three ish or so. I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of guessing. It looks about good right there. That helps it stick a little bit better, gives it a little thicker coat. Now on my uh, seasonings, we're just gonna mix in some, I like to use this chicken base flavor. And we're not gonna use a ton of this. It just gives it a little extra kick. Now keep in mind, it's gonna look like we're putting a lot of stuff in here. But this is a lot of flour. When you mix this in, it's actually going to uh, kind of balance out. Cause even that much stuff right there, I mean, that's probably like, uh, just a couple parts to a lot, so. It's 
not as much as it looks when you when you mix it out. I'm gonna do some nature seasoning. And I'm gonna do some garlic powder. And we're not gonna do too much of the garlic powder because it is in the nature seasoning. And I'm just gauging this by surface area basically. This is just minced onion. And uh, I like to use Old Bay. I'm gonna do a little bit of this because I also wanna use some of this Slap Your Mama. I've not used it before. Uh, so it's the first time for that. But this is gonna be my spice. So the Slap Your Mama I've not used before, but we're gonna put some of that in. And I know this looks like we're doing a ton. But like I said, when we mix this together, and I've washed my hands, I'm just gonna mix it with my, with my hands in here. It all kind of evens out. And you're not gonna get that much in each uh, bite. But once we dredge it, I got another pan that we'll put some of this uh, Big Franks, we'll have one with buttermilk, and then we'll have some with the mustard. Once we, uh, we'll dredge it, and then we'll just uh, coat it the flour, shake it off really good, and then throw it in the fire. That'll be coming up next. So here's our fry station set up. We kept a pretty clear line and blocked it off so the kids couldn't come through. And we went with a very simple buttermilk and egg batter mixture. And we did that because we had a lot of different palettes. We wanted to keep it very simple. And my neighbor Brandon came over and he actually helped with uh, propping the fillets in the dredge and then the flour. Then I took them out and dropped them in the fryer. It's nice to have help when you're doing this mini fillets. What you can't see is that underneath all those fillets there's a rack that's lifting that up off the pan bottom so that it's not sitting in any moisture. Overnight most of that water will drain out and that keeps it from sitting in all that water. And the next day I just drained it and I used some paper towels to get the rest of the water out of there. Now when you're doing a lot of flays like this you might consider doing two smaller pans, pans especially if you don't have any help. Uh, that way you can keep one pan in the fridge while you're frying one and they stay uh, cold the whole time that way you don't have them uh, sitting out in the heat. Uh, this worked out pretty good for us because we were going pretty quick. We actually had enough flays to uh, give some away because um, we don't want to refreeze them once you've already thawed them out. Uh, but we gave some of those away uncooked because we didn't need them all. And uh, we had plenty of leftovers after this. The rest of this video is just going to be the party and the, uh, the food layout that we have. But I'm going to let that play through. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Until next time, guys, keep chasing that limit.